Okay, uh, just going to take a quick first look at my uh, electric bike. This is its first stage. I've put the kit on last week, so this is pretty raw. It's not finished yet at all. So what you can see here is um, a very old um, Scott mountain bike frame. Really old. It must be like 20 years old, I would have thought, the frame. Um, hard tail, as you can see. There's no suspension or anything. Um, standard gears, except that I've not connected up at the moment the rear derailleur. To be honest, at that speed you're not really using those gears. You really need um, a bigger step, which is why the front one's connected. Uh, so, oh yeah, I've got big, got some big pedals on there. Those V8s. Uh, and anyway, let's, let's get back to the bike before we go into detail. What you can see at the back here is two uh, what are called bike bins from bikebins.com, they're made in the UK, they're um, pretty tough uh, uh, polypropylene and plastic things uh, which are attached to a rack there which is a two peak rack which is nice and solid, pretty strong rack, it should take the weight. Um, at the moment inside here what I've got inside this one is a, uh, these are watertight as well by the way is the, what you can see in there is a 48 volt 28 amp hour battery that's a, a ping and you can see it's kind of it's a, it should be a bit tighter it's, I've got foam packing at each side and underneath it which I won't take out now um, to give it um, some protection from the bumps which there seems to be quite a lot with it um, you see the wire there, that's just the top and there, on there you can see I'm actually you can't see any, any figures on there at the moment but there's a uh, what they call a locked up meter that just shows me how much uh, is left in the battery, what voltage and how much uh, amp hours basically and these are at the moment these are connected by these uh, what I think are called I can't remember what they're called, T60 which are rated at um, Anyway, they're rated at 60 amps these connectors, but I've just ordered a cut-off switch because each time I'm plugging and unplugging these, I'm getting a huge uh, spark, obviously. I need a proper switch in there to isolate the battery before connecting everything up. So that's it, this battery. And that, this side, you know, weighs about 10, 10 kilos, probably. Um, the other side, well, I guess going there, just a, at the moment, just a coat and stuff. There isn't much in there. So the weight, you know, is really on, very much on the right-hand side. But to be honest, it doesn't, it's not a problem at all having the weight here. Balance is absolutely fine. Um, on the top of the rack here, now this needs to go, I've got a bag for this, but um, at the moment it's fantastic, it's all tape. Everything's cable tied up. That's the um, controller for the motor, basically. It takes the power from the battery and uh, you know gives you proper control of the motor through the throttle, which I'll show you in a bit. Bit of wiring there, basically wiring from the battery into the controller, and then from the controller up to the uh, up to the front end, which I'll show you now where the controls are. On here, I've got a thumb throttle there that's just basically controlled with this. It's not switched on at the moment. Push that up and down. Uh, standard grip there. That's just for the headlight. Uh, this came with the kit for the hub. This is the uh, you can see there's a, <laughs> and actually a key, and that's just, uh, it's not brilliant actually, that's an LED meter to tell you how much power's left. Uh, you've got a horn over here, very weak, I'll show you that. And there's the um, the grip shift for changing the, uh, the front sprocket, basically, up and down, big and, big and a medium, that's all you need. Uh, and also the main, the really important part of this is the, is the front wheel that came with the kit, and there is a a thousand watt uh, brushless hub motor built into a 26 inch wheel. You get the whole wheel, obviously not the tyre, but it's all built like that. Um, and I've got um, you can see the what the cable coming out of the wheel there. You should be able to. That's the cable there running up. And it actually goes right back to the controller. Uh, you'll notice I've got these aren't alloy forks; these are actually uh, chromo or you know, basically steel forks, which makes for a much better 
Actually, I need to check that that's all right. Yeah, it is all right. A much better um, grip. I've heard a lot of people talking about alloy forks with the with it threading, uh, stripping the stripping the lugs out basically. So there's uh, because of the power of the wheel. There is a lot of power. It actually it's quite surprising how fast it is. Um, so it's got a key. The battery's in. Um, so I can switch it on there, now you can see that that's, that's lit up and, and so is the throttle there. Again, they're very crude sort of indicators of how much power you've got. But with what I've got in the back there, my what's up meter, I've got a much better idea of what's left. At the moment there's 12 and a half, which is, because uh, I've been riding it for a couple of hours, I'm testing it at the moment. Here's my, basically is my phone, um, but it's obviously got uh, GPS and uh, really nice sat nav that allows you to have a bike setting on there so that's what I use for checking out the speed and how far it goes etc and the average driving speed uh, oh it's also got built into that there are some lights there they're, they're not bad actually they're quite they're quite bright they look the part um, I've also got a space there for a normal light um, the light fitting these are really I've got some oversized downhill bars um, that are wide, 70 wide, and they're very thick in the middle. And I've also got a, a riser stem there, you can see, because this frame's actually a bit too small. What I should have really done is put a bigger frame, but anyway. So I've got this riser stem to bring the bars up, and then the bars ri risen even higher to give you a, if you look at the profile of the saddle to the bars, the saddle's really, really low. You wouldn't normally ride like that. You can see my legs are almost bent. That's a good saddle as well, it's got really good. Um, Elastomers in it, Cell Royale thing. That's pretty comfortable because it is quite bumpy, as you can imagine, with no suspension at all. That's the kind of thing you need. Um, okay, well, I think I've waffled on for long enough. I'll, I'll just give you a quick spin with the throttle so you can actually see the wheel turning, but there's not much in the kitchen, so have to bear with me. It's pretty heavy. You can, you could lift the whole bike, but it's, uh, it's not easy. How am I going to hell am I going to hold the camera and do this? I'll just show you. There we go. Don't want to damage the floor too much, but that was the uh, motor turning. That's just me using the thumb throttle there. And that ends this little video. Oh, a bit of a wiring problem there. So this is all going to get tidied up, but you get the basic idea of what it's like. See ya.